Y'all didn't expect to hear this today, did you? Double Dutch affair. <laughs> Classic. Let me show you something. Um, I, this is a product review because I am thoroughly impressed today. First of all, we're going to have a tahini mustard dressing. Yes, you heard me right. And so, I want to tell you what's in that. Very simple. First of all, let's have a little peek at it, shall we? Look right here. Look at the creaminess. Do y'all see? Look, look at this. It's been blended quite a while, too. By the way, if your um, dressings are kind of bubbly from the mixer <clears throat> or blender, you can put it on low the last little bit of time, and then as it, which will get some of the air bubbles out, but as this sits, the air bubbles naturally go out. Look at it. Don't worry, we'll have a taste test, but I want to show you this. Um, I want to show you this tahini. This is a new thing I'm trying just today, and hello. This is, is this is not your mama's tahini, okay, which is the kind that, really, tahini is not the kind of nut butter that you would typically want to take to the couch with a spoon, which sometimes could be a good thing because that's a bad idea. I don't care what time of the day, it's just a bad idea. Never take the whole bowl of chopped celery or carrots or anything and just take the nut butter to the couch with you. It, you're going to consume too much. You're going to have more than a couple tablespoons full. That's for sure, and, and then you're going to be constipated, lethargic. Your 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 low fat diet of the day just just went to skyrocket high fat, and you just didn't need all that. You needed to stretch the fat, you know. You needed to make a dressing or dip, bottom of the bowl dressing if you don't want a huge amount of dressing. Anyway, we only need so much fat. Good healthy plant fat, just the right amount, not too much, and not too little, right? So anyway, um, I want to show you this. This is. Shirley Bar Living Ethiopian Tahini. I want you to look at what it looks like first. And then I'm going to tell you how much it is. You see, this is a big jar. This is this is 16 ounces. Look. Now you know that a small jar of my usual favorite um tahini, which is the Artisana brand, is 10 bucks, and that's for about a half of that. So these I checked her website. And you can get two of them for $21. So you're talking about $10. If you use your nut butter like you should be, that'll last you a long dang time. Because in this whole recipe, I've only got two tablespoons. And look how much dressing that is. Okay? It's a lot. Do y'all see? So um, let me tell you what's in that first of all. And then I want you to see the difference in the consistency of this tahini. And of course, I want you to have a taste test with me. So, which is sad because really you just get to see me having one. But if you look close, you, you can really see the euphoria on my face, you know. So anyway, we're going to have one cup of corn in this. We're going to have one cup of celery. And I always like to use the whitish parts of the celery. Another thing is, if you're trying to use celery in your dressings and you don't like it, number one, you might not have a high-speed blender. It kind of takes that to make it totally creamy for you not to have any texture of celery. But you can always replace the celery component with the same amount of squash or um, zucchini, peel them, and then dulse kelp or wakame to hit this flavory, the flavory, um, the flavor of the salty part, okay? So anyway, back, back to the, the dressing. So one cup of corn, one cup of celery, one whole lemon peeled, I use the white part in all, of course, two tablespoons of this new tahini, one fourth teaspoon of mustard powder. Let me get, get you to understand one fourth teaspoon is this much. Do y'all see how small this could be? Like if I was having a really bad zip, would that be would be something, wouldn't it? <laughs> anyway, but I like this kind right here. It is um, organic mustard powder. Do y'all focus phone? Ah, oh, look at that cooperation from the phone. But anyway, so a fourth of a teaspoon of that two tablespoons. You know, before I, I started cooking for y'all and make uh, uncooking and making food like that, I always just, um, I can never tell you how much I put in anything. I kind of just do it by, by taste, throw in, you know, add and that kind of thing. And usually I like add in a little something more because I need it to subtract a flavor. But, um, that's what we have. And I blended it until it was really smooth. Obviously y'all see that right there. Okay. And um, I also want you to see what this tahini looks like, okay, because it is really very creamy. It's almost like a, a buttery type of, um, okay, let me show you. Look, 
Do y'all see? Look at it. It's very delicious, and typically tahini, I like it in recipes, but it has to have the certain flavor components, and it usually has to have a lot of acidic in there. This is really good, right off the measuring spoon. So anyway, I wanted to show you that, but I want you to try this dressing with me. And over here, I'm, I'm not trying to look like fancy little boots with these, um, they were yellow zucchinis, um, but they were just what I had left, and they made these cute little scoops. So anyway, let's have some of this dressing, shall we? Let's review the dipability. Let's give it a rating, shall we? Look, if it sticks and it's like doesn't separate, we'll give it a 10. I, I'm going to say it gets a 10. A 10 on the stickability rating. And taste? Mmm. Oh yeah, let's try it again. Look at that. That is just the right amount of that mustard. This is a mild but flavorful dressing. It will be good over anything, but it's obviously gonna be good over this organic lettuce I have laying there. Mmm. Yes, that is so good. You know what else would be good in it? Some sprinkled kelp with cayenne flakes. You know, you can buy it in that little, I forget what the brand is, but it's kelp with cayenne flakes and you don't need much. But if you don't have that, then you could just obviously dip your jalapeno and try that, you know? Mmm. <laughs> now we're talking. That was spicy and delicious. Y'all, this dressing, you'll really want to try it. Really good. And I'll tell you something about her site. Let me show it to you on the computer. You want to see it? So, um, let's see. Okay. So, look. Can you, can you see? I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's scroll down, shall we? Because you can see how... She talks all about her product... She talks, look, can y'all see that? It's going to be bad if you can't see anything. I can't tell what you're viewing right there. But um, it's all natural, raw, organic, pesticide-free, non-GMO. And she goes up here telling you a lot of health benefits of... Can y'all still see? Do y'all like going on the computer with me? And then see, you can see about us. Oh, that's what I was already looking at. Let's look at home because you can see the prices, right? Look. Hmm? Can you see? Okay, so look. Two jars of this. Um, here it is. Free shipping and it is $21.99. That means it is $11 a jar and it's a large jar. Y'all see what I'm saying? Like, this is really good. Should we have a little bit more? I've had the stressful day, and just when I thought my life was, uh, um, people were minding my boundaries. No, not so much. So anyway, you just never know what these days gonna bring. And all I know is this: I'm gonna give out love, and I'm gonna receive love. I'm gonna look for good. And I'm gonna find good. And I'm gonna be the master of my life, no matter what people throw in my face because it doesn't matter because after all I'm tanny raw right to myself that's what I say after all I'm tanny I say that to myself you, you can do it you can do it tanny that's funny isn't it I put in nourishment to my body so I can give out nourishment to everybody around me yes No one can change my inner terrain unless I allow them to. Do you understand what I'm saying? And, and by do you understand what I'm saying, I'm looking at myself saying, do you understand what I'm saying? It's all about the self-talk, friends. It really is. <clears throat> and if somebody's going to ask me, is this an engagement ring? It's not. It's an aquamarine. And my daddy got me this when I graduated. Isn't it pretty? And it always gets dirt up under there, but 
anyway. So there you go. Thanks for coming over for this taste test and review. And a little, um, what else but double dutch bus, right? <laughs> Only on Tanny Raw, would you hear that? <laughs> and if you can listen to the double dutch bus and you don't dance, something's wrong with you. See you later, alligators.